A patient today asked about the use of rosarum or rameltion for their difficulty with insomnia. Rosarum is a medication that at an eight milligram dose, that's your typical dose, um, individuals can take it about 30 minutes before bed. You wanna be careful not to have it with a high fat meal, but taking it about 30 minutes before bed can really help with the onset of sleep. So it helps individuals fall asleep. There's been really limited evidence to suggest that it helps with sleep maintenance, so that it would help um, someone to stay asleep. But uh, nonetheless, some individuals really have difficulty just falling asleep, so this could be helpful medication. It works by agonizing your M1 and M2 um, receptors in the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus. So the SCN, suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus, is really what um, regulates a circadian rhythm. And so it makes sense that this medication affecting your M1 and M2 receptors, primarily your M1 receptors, in that area of the central nervous system would be effective for helping someone to fall asleep. Um, this medication is cleared by your C450, CYP450-1A2 enzymes in your liver. And so if someone has liver failure, you wanna be careful about taking this medication. And if someone is on a CYP450-1A2 inhibitor like Luvox or Fluvoxamine, you've gotta be pretty careful and speak with your provider because that could really increase rosarum levels and cause toxicity. So again, this medication, rosarum or rameltion, may be a good option for individuals who have tried behavioral modification but have been unsuccessful at improving their sleep. Um, and it may also be a good option because it's not a um, controlled medication and it's not a medication with significant abuse potential like uh, medications like Ambien and Lunesta and some of your uh, anxiolytic or benzodiazepines or benzodiazepine derivatives that are often used for sleep. If you feel that this video pertains to you in any way, please be sure to speak to a medical professional directly.